For Detective Ellie Reeves' most recent case, we see her facing quite possibly the most frightening chronic killers. Dubbed the weekday killer who leaves a chilling distinguishing mark with every one of his victims, Ellie and the group have a difficult, but not impossible task ahead in attempting to stop the killer before he strikes once more. It was a great reuniting with Ellie again and I felt her pain as she actually attempts to overcome the events that happened in the silent dolls. We see her determination put under a test again as the case gets individual, when her companion, Deputy Shrondra Eastwood disappears. Wildflower Graves is the ideal expansion to the Detective Ellie Reeves series. It is an action-packed, fast-paced, dark and realistic read that will get your heart pumping. Detective Ellie Reeves' life has been turning wild since the disclosure that her parents covered for a chronic killer. To get away from the whispers and stares, Ellie heads into the Appalachian Mountains for a break. However, while climbing the path, Ellie finds the body of a lady with a note saying she won't be the last. After coming of the forest, Ellie is sent a photograph of her companion, Officer Chandra Eastwood, making it clear the killer has taken her. With the killer out there and new bodies appearing every day, Ellie is in a race with time to find her friend before it's too late. The plot of this book was exceptionally interesting, somebody is murdering women and connecting them up to characters in a poem. I found the idea interesting especially as the killer connects the victim's characteristics to the poem. The fact the killer was able to gather that much data about their victims to have the option to do that was creepy. There were a couple of individuals introduced all through the book as suspects and I need to state I didn't guess who the killer was. I was so certain it was another person until the last uncover came. In general I thought the plot was sensational and the pacing was very well done. Ellie keeps on being influenced by the uncovers toward the finish of the silent dolls which certainly impact her activities all through this book. She is devoted to her work yet she has a great deal of questions about her capacity to do that work when the community has turned on her. I was happy the writer incorporated the troubles Ellie was looking at, as to me it would have been extremely ridiculous if she go on as though nothing occurred. FBI specialist Derek Fox returns and his relationship with Ellie has radically changed after the last book. The pair are not, at this point open with one another and their working relationship is stressed most definitely. All in all Wildflower Graves was a stunning read and I am looking to the arrival of the following book in the series, The Burning Girls.